Right now, a fleet of NASA spacecraft are turning their attention to an unusual object speeding through our solar system. It gives scientists a rare chance to study something from beyond our solar system. Something from beyond our solar system is here, and we've finally taken its picture. The first close-up images of interstellar Comet 3i Atlas, captured by a team of Mars orbiters, have just been released. They reveal a few crucial details that scientists were not prepared for, including a feature that has never been seen on any comet from our own neighborhood. But it's not just what we can see that's so mind-blowing. It's the shocking chemical signature of the comet that hints at its violent and mysterious origins light years away from us. The ultimate photobomb. NASA's legendary Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, the European Space Agency's Mars Express, an ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, and even China's Tianwen-1 have all paused their regular jobs of mapping the Red Planet. They have shifted their focus to hunt for a faint, ghostly traveler as it sweeps within 18,600,000 miles of Mars. That sounds far, but in cosmic terms, it's like a bug flying past a streetlight. Close enough to see some amazing details, the most shocking fact is how this all came together. The comet was first spotted on July 1, 2025, by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile. At first, it just looked like another faint, slow-moving speck of light in a sea of them. Nobody was crazy about it just yet. Then, as astronomers plotted its path, they saw the crucial detail that made everyone's jaw drop. Its trajectory was all wrong. It was moving too fast, on a path that was not a closed loop around our sun. That could only mean one thing. It wasn't from around here. It was interstellar. This discovery makes 3 I Atlas only the third confirmed interstellar object we've ever seen, after the bizarre cigar-shaped Oumuamua in 2017 and the more familiar-looking comet Borisov in 2019. But not all things are what they seem. Unlike those previous visitors, 3 I Atlas was spotted early enough to give scientists time to scramble and organize a massive observation campaign. It was pure cosmic luck that its path was set to take it so close to Mars, a planet that just happens to have a small fleet of sophisticated scientific instruments already in orbit. The timing was perfect. On October 3rd, 2025, the comet made its closest pass, allowing cameras and spectrometers designed to study Martian geology and atmosphere to get a taste of something truly exotic. The thing nobody tells you is that these orbiters were never designed for this. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, is using its high-resolution imaging science experiment camera, that's a half-meter telescope known as HiRISE, to try and capture images. This camera can normally spot details on the surface of Mars as small as a dinner table. Now it's staring into the blackness, hunting for the faint glow of the comet's coma and tail while the nucleus, the solid heart of the comet, is too tiny and distant to see directly. High-rise might be able to detect sudden changes in brightness or even ripples in its tail as it gets blasted by the solar wind. What many overlook is that this is a huge technical challenge, like trying to photograph a firefly in a hurricane from 100 miles away. But the story gets even bigger. What the pictures showed. So, what did these first-of-their-kind images actually reveal? Many people are crazy about the idea of a crystal clear picture of an alien object, but the reality is both more subtle and way more profound. The initial data sent back from the Mars orbiters wasn't a sharp, high-definition photo. Instead, it was a series of faint, ghostly portraits showing a fuzzy blob of light with a wispy tail stretching out behind it. But within that fuzziness, scientists found the new details they were desperately looking for. The first shocking discovery came from the comet's coma, the glowing cloud of gas and dust surrounding its icy heart. The images from the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, which is designed to sniff out tiny amounts of gas in the Martian atmosphere, showed that the coma of 3i Atlas was pulsating. It was getting brighter, then dimmer, in a surprisingly regular rhythm, almost like a slow cosmic heartbeat. This isn't normal. Comets from our own solar system tend to release gas pretty steadily as they warm up near the sun. This pulsing suggests that the surface of 3i Atlas is incredibly uneven. 
It might have massive geysers of gas on one side that only fire when that side is facing the sun, causing the comet to light up with each rotation. It's spinning like a cosmic sprinkler head, and we are seeing it flash every time the nozzle points our way. This gives us a clue about its shape without even seeing it clearly. It's likely not a smooth, round ball, but a lumpy, irregular object that has had a very rough life tumbling through interstellar space. The most mind-blowing data point is its speed. This thing is traveling at over 100,000 miles per hour relative to the sun. It's not sightseeing. It's blazing a trail through our system and will be gone before we know it. Then there's the color. The combined data from multiple instruments allowed scientists to create a color composite image, and the result was another surprise. The dust in the comet's tail had a distinctly reddish hue, much redder than the dust from most comets born in our own Oort cloud. The thing nobody tells you is that the color of comet dust is like a fingerprint. A reddish color often means the dust contains complex organic molecules, the very building blocks of life, that have been cooked by ultraviolet radiation over millions, or even billions, of years. This visitor didn't just come from another star, it came carrying a suitcase full of ancient, irradiated organic material. This is a wow factor of the highest order because it directly relates to the idea of panspermia, the theory that life's ingredients could be ferried between star systems on objects just like this one. What many overlooked in the initial excitement about Oumuamua was its lack of a visible coma, which made it so mysterious. Borisov looked more like one of ours, but 3i Atlas is the weird middle ground. It's an active comet, but it's acting in a way that is profoundly alien. The images from Mars are the first pieces of a puzzle that could change everything we thought we knew about the universe. And the chemistry is even weirder. Not made from around here. Every interstellar object is a direct sample of another kitchen, a taste of the ingredients that are used to build planets in a completely different part of the galaxy. It's a matter that was shaped in an environment we can only dream of, likely billions of years ago around a star we haven't even discovered yet. 3i Atlas gives scientists a golden opportunity to compare alien chemistry with the familiar recipes of our local comets. And boy, is it different. Even before the Mars flyby, observations from the all-powerful James Webb Space Telescope had already hinted that something was off. Now the close-up data from the orbiters confirms it, and the results are a wow factor that has cosmologists buzzing. You see, in our solar system, the vast majority of comets are dirty snowballs, where the snow is overwhelmingly frozen water. When they get close to the sun, that water ice turns to vapor and creates the beautiful coma and tail we see. But that's not what's happening here. The shocking truth about 3i Atlas is that it's barely giving off any water vapor at all. Instead, it's absolutely gushing carbon dioxide gas the same stuff we breathe out. The estimated ratio is wild. For every one part water, it's spewing out eight parts carbon dioxide. This makes it a true carbon dioxide comet, something that is incredibly rare in our own solar system. This chemical fingerprint is a giant, flashing clue about where it came from. The thing nobody tells you is that for a comet to be this rich in carbon dioxide, it must have formed in a much, much colder place than our own comets did. It had to have been born in the frigid outer darkness of its home star system, a region where carbon dioxide freezes solid as easily as water does here. This suggests it might have come from a system around a star that is much cooler and dimmer than our sun, like a red dwarf, or perhaps a system that is far younger than ours and still bitterly cold. What many overlook is that this has huge implications. Red dwarf stars are the most common type of star in the galaxy, so if they are cranking out CO2 rich comets, then our galaxy could be flooded with these kinds of interstellar travelers. And it's not just the gas. The dust is acting weird too. Observations of how the dust particles scatter sunlight, a technique called polarimetry, show something called an unusually strong negative polarization. To put it mildly, that's a very technical way of saying the dust grains are not like the fluffy, porous specks we see from our own comets. Instead, they seem to be very compact and solid. This makes perfect sense if you think about it. These tiny grains have been on an unbelievable journey, 
traveling for millions of years through the harsh environment of interstellar space. They've been blasted by cosmic rays and radiation, which would have zapped away any loose material and baked them into hard, dense little pellets. The reddish color and the compact nature of the dust paint a picture of an ancient wanderer that has been fundamentally changed by its eons-long voyage between the stars. But this comet's story is far from over. The Hunt for Alien Visitors The Mars flyby was just one incredible chapter in a much longer and more dramatic story. After zipping past the Red Planet on October 3rd, 3i Atlas is continuing its plunge inward toward its perihelion, its closest approach to our Sun, which will happen around October 29th. As it gets closer to that intense heat, its activity is expected to ramp up like crazy. We're talking about a potential hundredfold increase in the amount of gas and dust being released, which could dramatically reshape its coma and tail right before our eyes. The most shocking fact is that once it swings around the sun, it will be lost to our view from Earth for a while, hidden in the sun's glare. But this is where the story takes another amazing turn. ESA's JUICE spacecraft, currently on its long journey out to Jupiter, is perfectly positioned to step in. Between November 2nd and November 25th, JUICE will become an interstellar paparazzi, monitoring the comet from deep space. This will be the first time in history that an interstellar comet is studied in a coordinated campaign from multiple planets, Earth and Mars, and a deep space probe all at once. You see, this creates a revolutionary multi-point observation network. We'll be watching this single alien object from different angles and distances, tracking its brightness, its chemical outgassing, and the shape of its tail as it reacts to the full blast of solar radiation. It's like having cameras all around a stage to capture every nuance of a performance. The main scientific goal here is to measure isotopic ratios in its gases. The thing nobody tells you is that isotopes, different versions of elements like carbon and oxygen, are the ultimate cosmic birth certificates. The exact ratio of these isotopes can tell us whether 3i Atlas was formed near a star like our Sun, or around a completely different type of star, like a cool red dwarf. Even tiny differences could help us pinpoint the kind of stellar nursery that gave birth to this traveler. Beyond its alien chemistry, 3i Atlas is already changing how space agencies think about the future. Many people are crazy about the idea of sending a probe to catch one of these things, and this event proves why it's so important. Its discovery and the mad dash to observe it show the desperate need for quick response missions that can launch at a moment's notice to intercept the next interstellar object before it vanishes forever. Concepts like ESA's proposed Comet Interceptor are being fine-tuned using the lessons we're learning right now. We're getting a real-world fire drill for how to hunt down these visitors. But scientists are also being realistic. The comet is faint, moving at a blistering speed, and incredibly difficult to image sharply. Many of the big conclusions will have to be drawn from indirect measurements. Subtle shifts in light, gas spectra, or the way its tail wiggles. Even so, these tiny fragments of data are helping us build a completely new picture of interstellar chemistry and how planets are born and die across the galaxy. 3i Atlas is a ghost from another star system, a puzzle that we may never fully solve. But does its bizarre makeup suggest that life's ingredients are common throughout the cosmos? And don't forget to like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries. Thanks for watching.